Hi, it's Terry. I have been maintaining 180 pound weight loss with low carb, low calorie, meat focused eating since August of 2022. So tomorrow we go, we're going to, we have to do some chart audits in one of our outer counties. It's like about a 45, 50 minute drive. So we're going to eat lunch tomorrow night or tomorrow at, at um, one of the local restaurants where we're going. They said it's a barbecue place. I don't really know anything about it. So um, being the paranoid person I am, I'm still going to take a salad just in case there isn't something that I can eat. And if I have to eat a small amount, that happened to me one other time. So we're going to go on and make a salad and I'll take it with me. If I don't eat it, that's all right. I'll bring it on me to eat for supper. But I need to grab something else. Hang on. Okay, I got a lot going on over here. Um, one of you had said something in the comments about that you keep protein powder at work. Just a packet. Well, mine comes in this big container. Uh, but you said you keep some at work in case there's a situation like whenever I drop my burger. So each of these scoops is a half scoop. for Because this isn't a scoop that came with my protein powder. So I am... Uh, let me just kind of get this all leveled out enough and um, so I'm going to take me some protein powder the good thing is it doesn't have to be um, kept it in a certain temperature there's not like a it's just going to be kept in this container and dry so it'll always be with me at work and then if something happens like today when I drop my burger if I feel like there's nothing extra to eat or maybe that was yesterday whenever it was Whenever it was, two days ago, I think, I'll have this with me, and I can always use it. Typically, you all only see me use this protein powder on Sundays. I don't need it any other day. I have other stuff that I eat. So, now, let's build our salad here. And, uh, like I said, we're just going to take it along just in case. So, if you remember, a while ago, my team and I, we went out to eat at a barbecue place. And, but everything was on a bun, and you just couldn't get a lot of, there, there was not a good option for me. Everything, the sides were all fries, all uh, breaded, just stuff. So I couldn't do anything but eat just this little, I don't know, about a cup full of, of uh, barbecue. So just to, in case that happens again, I'll be able to come back at home or come back to work and have my salad. So we're going to have, uh, we got our base, which is always the same. We're going to add 63 grams of peppers. <clears throat> we got jicama here, and we're going to add, let's zero it out. We'll add 69 grams of jicama. I tell you, I hope my Walmart gets some better jicama. I'm going to have to go spend some real money and go to the fancy schnooks. It's, a, it's got the better stuff, but you will pay the better prices, I'm here to tell you. And uh, I did not have any issues today after eating the pickles. So we're going to add these on again. I'm guessing that magnesium is getting back in my system. Yeah. Wait a minute. Hold up. Zero it out so that way we can keep track. Alright. Alright, so 106 grams of my pickled veggies. We need our some seasonings. Let's just go basic. Let's use some farm dust. And let's use our um, Avo Bravo. ranch of course it's hiding back there from me it's saying don't use me don't use me ah. now let's get our dressing this is the tail end of that uh, thousand island dressing I'm gonna wash this little thing and uh, put it back in my refrigerator and next time I have some thousand well I get these all the time I don't have any thousand island in my in my uh, refrigerator so I don't need it right now so I'll just now we're going to add our this is the G Hughes it's G Hughes mixture of 
of honey mustard and Polynesian. So we'll take our salad. I'm gonna have my salad. I'm gonna get. I have. Hang on. I'm gonna take. I, there's two. A burger and a half in here. I need to take that out for a second here because I just want one burger. I don't want the half. So give me a second here. Okay. So we're gonna put our salad down in here. Get my spoon going. And I'm gonna take an apple too because you know. I love me an apple, and they may not have them there, so an apple, spoon. All right, so I'm going to put a burger and cheese in here. And now I know you, I know, oh, 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 barbecue sauce. I'm going to take this along with me so that uh, I can say no barbecue sauce, please. And uh, instead, I'll have my, I'll have my. G. Hughes barbecue sauce. So now, oh, why you gotta do me like this on on international YouTube? Why you gotta do me like that? There we go. Don't do me like that. Don't do me like that, darling. Something, something. Don't, don't, don't do me like that. Don't do me like that. Something, something, something. Don't, 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 don't. Okay, so we're gonna put this in the refrigerator. I'm gonna put this ice down in there. And uh, now we're gonna put this up and I know you see what I got back there and we're gonna discuss it. Hang on. All right, so this is what we're doing. Don't be saying nothing in the comments. Just, just let it go. Let it go, there's a place you need to go. Let it go, let it go. Here I am, and here I'll stand. Something, 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 something. I never liked the cold anyway. Anyway, we're gonna have us some of these, and I'm just gonna see. I'm feeling better, and I just wanna know. I wanna know. Have you ever seen the rain? All right, so one serving is, oh, wait a minute, I don't have to do it in here. If I'm doing this kind, I can do the overnight kind. Go Terry, go Terry, it's your birthday, it's your birthday. Go Terry, go Terry. All right, we're gonna do the overnight kind. So, all right, so we're gonna zero this little booger out and I'm gonna do a half a serving is 40 or is 20 grams. All right, well, 24, close enough. Now the water is should be a little over. I'm gonna do it says a half cup. I'm gonna do over a half cup, and I'll tell you why in just a second. Here I am. And here I stand. Cold never bothered me anywhere. <clears throat> Some of y'all had said I should try chia seeds. I'm going to put them in here. I don't know if I should put them in here in overnight oats. But I know some of y'all said it's going to give me make me poop. Well, I don't want to poop because tomorrow will be a bad day for that problem. Because we're going to be driving all over the countryside. But well, come on now. Why you got to do me like that again? Listen, listen, Linda. Listen, Linda. Don't be doing so mean to my heart. You're breaking my heart. So, we are going to do just a teeny. Aw, oh, poop. I didn't get it cut in a good spot. You guys, listen. Listen. So many of y'all told me I need to try these these chia seeds. I really want to call them chai seeds, but I'm not going to do a whole lot. I just want to do just a little teeny, I don't even know. Let's see how much I'm going to put in there. Not even a gram, and I'm okay with that. A half a serving would be 12 grams, and I did, up oh, now it comes in two grams. So about two grams is what I'm putting in. <clears throat> I want to see what they're like. So, we're just going to make these overnight ones, and I'm going to put it in here together. 
I'm going to put just a pinch of salt. I wonder if they're gross. You know I like to taste stuff when it's not all the way done. Let's see what it's like. Ah, they're like poppy seeds. I do want to put just a splash of salt in there. All right. So in the morning, I'll probably add a little bit of half, uh, uh, half and half to it. Oh, and I did do this. Hang on. Remember when I did this? <clears throat> I said remember as if like it's been months. All right, we're going to do a little one full squirt of hazelnut. All right. All right. Now, we're going to put this little lid on it. And we're going to let it sit overnight in my refrigerator. I know. I know some of y'all are saying, mm, mm, mm. girl, we done told you not to do it. We done told you. Look what happened when they did it last time. I know that's what you're saying. I'm thinking it partly too. But, you know, I've always been the kind of person that I have to try things on my own. I have to fail at something multiple times before I say, okay, okay, you're right. And I ain't ready to say you're right yet. I just ain't ready. I ain't ready to admit it. I'm just, I'm not ready to admit defeat. I'm gonna try it again. So just accept it. All right, so I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator. I got my melatonin sleepy time tea. Some of y'all are probably like, mm, girl, you need more than sleepy time tea. You need somebody to knock you upside the head with a sledgehammer. Well, sometimes I do. And sometimes I really do. Mwah. All right, guys. I love you all, and I'll show you what I can show you if we go out to eat or whatever we do. So, bye. Hey, I want to say thank you to Pete Harvey. Um, he was watching my electrolyte video, and thankfully, he's a heck of a lot better at math than I am. I told y'all, do your own math. I stink at math. So, um, yeah. He said, he pointed out that <clears throat> Rhea Redmond's, I don't know what I was looking at when I did it. I must have been smoking some crack or something. But Redmond's, it is 1.4 gram is only 530 grams of salt. I was saying Redmond had, <clears throat> I was saying it was 1,000. I don't know what, so it's not 1.4. Um, so, it's 1.4. Really, it would be like, hang on. He wrote it down. He did the math for me down in the video. So we're going to, I took them videos out of the description of my video. So we're going to have to make some new ones with real math. Thank you, Pete. I'm going to write your name down on my daily. Hang on. Uh, yep, it was Pete Harvey and he pointed it out. So <laughs> I'll make some new videos. I probably should go on and delete those. I don't know. We'll figure out, but it'll be new and improved electrolytes. But anyway, it's 79.2 grams instead of, I was saying 42. It's like twice as much grams of salt. So, y'all, I've been telling y'all too little salt. So, if you've been feeling poopy, it's no wonder. So, anyway, I'm going to go add some more to my chocolate electrolytes that I'll put in my coffee in the morning. So, anyway, I'll make some new videos about that. I told y'all I'm bad at math. So, thank you, Pete. For saving the day with my math. You're a good person and I appreciate it very much. <clears throat> I definitely had too much water liquid in my overnight oats. But it's a, uh, I don't know, y'all probably can't tell, but here. Very runny. That's all right. I'll just eat it like soupy. I'll eat it like soup. And, uh, and it's got the chia seeds in it. I don't poop today because you've got to be out in Outer County and there won't be access to bathrooms. That's good. Got good flavor. I better not take another bite because it's kind of warm and I don't want to burn myself. I want to have to spit it back out. I microwave my burger. I ain't dropping it today. I didn't yesterday either, but... Definitely need salt. Mmm. So. And my cheese. So. 
I'm gonna work on those because it's 7 30 and we're gonna leave soon. Okay, bye. Sweetie, do you do half pork steaks? No, just the whole pork steak. Okay. And. Look at inside that pork steak. It's pretty thick. So that's what I'm having. I'll uh, get my sauce. There's no sauce on it. That's just the Okay, so you saw what I ate. I, they had a big old pork steak and I got two servings of the green beans. The green beans didn't taste sweet like they are where mom and I go um, on Sundays. So, um, but they were good. They just canned green beans. Um, <clears throat> so I had that. Uh, so two servings of green beans and that big old pork steak. It was so good. I thought maybe there was sauce on it, but there wasn't. So, but it was so good. I didn't need to add any sauce. So I brought my sauce home and I've got an apple that I picked pick the sticker off. I'm going to eat the apple anyway, so that's what I had for lunch. So I'll see y'all at supper. <laughs> y'all, I almost ended up on the news. Not for a good reason. Let me tell you what happened. So we're going to eat our salad that we took for lunch. So I'm driving home and I get a message from my neighbor. It says, Terry, the wife and I were walking by your house and we smelled gas. I'm like, oh, man. So I'm like freaked out. So I hop on my phone I'm like, okay, are the dogs alive? So I look and I see I, the camera aims at the back, like towards the couch. So I see the back of Lou's head looking out the window. My God. Like, right. So Lou's fine. And he's a hound. So if his smeller was okay, I'm sure the rest are okay. So anyway, so though I get home and I sniff and I can't smell nothing. But y'all know I got a real unsensitive nose. And that's just the way it is. So mm, mm, steak bite and fruit. So I call Amarin. And I'm like. I had to push the emergency button. They're like, do you smell gas or have an active gas leak? I said, no, but my neighbor says he smells gas outside my house. I can't smell it. I said, I had COVID four years ago. I can't smell still. So she wrote up the ticket. Ooh, let me get what this man said. Hang on. So she wrote up the ticket and this nice guy, man, was he tall? I bet. Like we were downstairs on all the duct work. He had his hat on. It was like this close in some places and like like this in some place. I'm like, no wonder that man has to wear a hard hat. He probably goes, dunk, dunk. Tall guy. Anyway, so <clears throat> he came and tested. There was no gas around my meter. And the neighbor said that when my furnace kicked on, that's when he smelled it. So I'm like, okay. So I, I tell the guy, and he's like, well, go in and turn your furnace on. I'll go around there. So he did. He's like, well, I kind of smell it. He said, but it's not, it's not strong. And then about that time, the neighbor came around the corner, so the, they were talking. He was like, do you smell it over here often? And the guy's like, no, no, it's just really strong today. So anyway, so then the Amarin guy came in. He went to the basement. And first off, he saw my water heater. And he's like, oh, man, you need a discharge pipe. I said, what? He said, discharge pipe. I said, what's that? He's like, well, you see this valve right here? You're supposed to have a pipe. It's not a PVC pipe, but a pipe that's about four or five inches from the floor. So that way, if the water backs up and it shoots out, it doesn't just spray out because there's no valve. On. It's just like right there. He's like, because if you happen to be standing down here, it's just going to spray out. And that's 210 degrees of water spraying out at something, something pressure. And I said, okay. So I said, a disposition pipe? He said, no. He said, a discharge pipe. I said, oh, okay. So anyway, so then he goes over to my furnace, and he, he looks and does his little thing, checking for stuff. And he looks up, and he looks at my pipe going up. When we were outside, he said he, um, he heard some gurgling. And um, so almost like he was trying to push water through. And so he's like, 
So he come inside and he looked. He's like, see your pipes, how they go, they go straight up and then they go up a hill and over here they go up another hill. He said, I think that there's probably some condensation. Do you have a flathead screwdriver? I said, I do. Let me go get it. So I got it. And um, he took the front panel off. And um, he's like, oh, this isn't good. I said, what? It's only a couple years old. And he's like, you see this water down here? And I was like, yeah. He's like, it's rusty. I said, okay. <laughs> what? What's that tell me? It tells me nothing. It's rusty water. Okay. So he said, um, he said, well, it's not supposed to be water right here. He said, that means it's gathering here, and that's not good for the motor, and that's probably what the smell is that your neighbor's smelling on. Oh, okay. I said, well, I, I, he said, do you remember who put this in? I told him, he's like, yeah, you're going to want to call him. He said, not for an emergency call. Don't pay for an emergency call, but you're going to want him to call and, and, and take a look. I said, okay. <laughs> Durr, you know me. Okay, whatever you say. So, uh, so anyway, so at first he's like, oh, I'm not going to write you a ticket or anything. He's like, well, I am going to write you a ticket. He said, so that way you remember what to buy. <laughs> Thank you. So anyway, so he put a check and it says water heater T and P valve without proper discharge pipe. He said that way I knew to buy a discharge pipe. And then at the bottom, other comments. Furnace. Y'all know I can't stand cursive writing. Well, I can't stand it. It's very beautiful. I just can't read it. Furnace something irregular water at base of inducer fan housing explain to customer listen furnace something what's that word i feel like i can't read i can read these typed words but furnace something furnace flu maybe is that f f l u e maybe that's flu you think that says flu i'm gonna get up real close all right well anyway furnace something irregular water at base of inducer for how of fan housing so anyway, so he gave me this warning, so that way I would be able to get it taken care of and I'd know what to tell the Peters guy, or the, he Peters is the company, so i know what to tell them. Oh, I forgot to turn my heater down. It's hot. I had it on 73, but when he came and needed it to kick on, I cranked it up to 76, so anyway, so yeah, that's been my excitement. So the then I parked down the street, because I'm like, well, I don't know, is my car going to blow up? What's going to happen there? And then I was afraid, do I open the garage door? Is it going to kill my dog? Put that my stuff on. So, the guy I called about it, he said, yeah, you don't want a cell phone by around a gas leak. He said that it can make a spark and it can, it can start a problem. I said, well, all right then. I guess I'm not going to tell you all what's going on in real time. Oh. That's the word. In the end. They got me a warning. Look at me. Waving a warning around like it's a good thing. But it is a good thing because it tells me what I need to tell the people. So, he told me I could go to the store and get my own discharge pipe and he said they're standard you just screw it in okay so anyway so yeah so what is today today's friday friday the second well oh i'm off work monday the fifth maybe i'll give them a call monday i doubt they'll be able to come right over but i can still call them and tell them so that's what i'll do so what's today friday saturday I I just asked that question about Saturday, Sunday. So y'all get this Sunday morning. Don't forget, we're going live. That's, what is that date? That's February 4th. Hmm. 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 2-4-24. So, all right, Bill. That's my excitement. And for those of you watching my video, if this is Sunday morning, you have to watch my live later. By the way, I'm probably going to go to church online. I'm not in the kids' church. Mom ain't going to be home. My church family is... Um, the husband had neck surgery. As far He's doing okay. But he's going to be out of the hospital like on Saturday. 
So they're not going to be going to church. You know, so anyway, so I'll probably go just watch online. But I'm going to take my notes and I'm going to talk to you people. So don't be thinking you're going to get out of hearing about it. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, you'll hear it on Tuesday. Anyway, all right, well, this cut into my whole evening. It's 6.15 and I'm just now eating supper. But we saw how big my lunch was, didn't we? That big old pork steak. And then... Green beans and apple. Oh! Gonna be so proud. We have a local place called Ziggy's. It's a coffee shop. And that's where my... Ziggy Cancel. The coffee shop has the same name as my as my Alexa over there. Anyway, so I was so Suzanne, my my partner director, she likes to go there for coffee, and we are going right by it on our trip out of town today. And you'd be so proud. I said I would like a regular coffee with sugar-free caramel and a splash of heavy cream, and that's it. It's really good. I'm so proud of myself. I felt like a grown-up. You guys, I was a grown-up today. All right, well, I'm going to let you go because I'm going to be behind, so i got to get my act together. Meal prep, not going to be a lot. i got frozen veggies, but I don't need any meat, I don't think at all, and I don't need to cook any meat. So, uh, your next weekend, you're just going to see some frozen veggies, maybe. If that, there may not be any meal prep. I'll have to see what I got in the freezer. But I got some frozen veggies. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. But anyway, all right. I'm babbled long enough. Mwah. I love you guys. And uh, uh, no fire, no gas leak, no gas leak. Go Terry. Oh, song of the day. My poor nurses. Because I had my coffee. And then I had that, that you know, coffee from you know where. And, um. Uh, so I come back, I was all, they are like, we heard you had too much coffee. I'm like, so I walked in their office. I'm going to scoot you back so you can get a full view. I walked into the poor nurse's office. And I was going, I was going, there she was just a walking down the street, saying do I did it, did it, um, did it do. Snapping her fingers and shuffling her feet. Singing do a diddy diddy dum diddy do. She look good. Yes, I do. She look fine. Darn right. Look good. Look fine. And I'm making you all lose your mind. <laughs> so I was bugging my, my team today. But bless their hearts. They're so used to it. They, they just don't even bat an eye anymore. Anyway, so... That's the song that was in my head today, and now it's in your head. So, all right, see you later. Love you guys. Bye. Hey, Jesus loves you too. Bye.